<laughs> we got a controversial one today. Cybersecurity as an industry is not entry level. Before we get started, if you would like to join the best community and learning platform for cybersecurity professionals, head to the Safer Internet Project dot com and become a member today. This one's a, uh, it's a prickly one. We're going to talk about entry level in cybersecurity and why it's a bit of a myth, or at least it's something that's quite misunderstood, I feel anyway. From talking with recruiters over the last few years, from being in the industry of cybersecurity for the last few years, from looking at all of the, uh, advertisement, I guess, or propaganda maybe is a better word, around entry-level cybersecurity, I want to raise the topic that the cybersecurity industry as a whole is not designed to be entry-level. If you have a look at job postings on LinkedIn, Seek, Indeed, wherever it is that you go to find your jobs, and you look at the minimum years required experience to get into cybersecurity, you'll notice that cybersecurity is actually asking for a couple of years experience, or at a minimum, usually six months plus. This is a major problem within the industry where there's a huge amount of talent that wants to get in, and a huge amount of jobs open for cybersecurity professionals. But what hiring managers and recruiters look for is someone with experience, which then makes it not really entry level. What these recruiters and HR people who are posting these jobs are looking for is someone with prior IT experience. Now, if that's right or wrong, that's up to you to decide. That's your own personal opinion, and I've got nothing against personal opinions. But it kind of outlines exactly what people are looking for. They're looking for someone who already has experience with IT systems. Imagine for a second, you're applying for a job, you wanna become a, a builder, right? And you have absolutely no experience. You've never built a single thing in your life. You've never even touched a piece of wood, weirdly. But then you expect to be building houses, putting stairs together, the whole kit. Now sure, you can learn on the job, and that's what apprenticeships are for. But in the cybersecurity realm, there's either internships or prior experience. Before I get into how you can get your own experience, hands-on experience, I wanna talk about that people who are employing people for these jobs, if someone comes across a desk, a resume comes across and they're like, this guy is the deal. This is the kind of person that we want. Usually, they have experience as a systems administrator, a software developer, a network engineer, something in IT where they've previously learned IT skills. They understand how networks are built, how systems are administered. They want to see what you can bring, what knowledge you can bring to back yourself up when you're securing these systems. If you don't know how to build a system, how do you know how to protect it? Just because you went to university or got a diploma, did a bunch of courses, maybe you did some CTFs, that doesn't make you a cybersecurity professional. It doesn't make you an IT professional either. And this is where the controversy is. People expect that once they've studied a certain topic, then they are then qualified to get into that job. And on paper, I agree, you are qualified. But when it comes down to experience, you actually don't have any. Now, you can get around the experience piece by doing some of your own learning. Put yourself in your own sort of apprenticeship. Build home labs. Recruiters and hiring managers love to see home labs. Why do they love to see home labs? Because it shows passion. It shows that you actually know how to build a system from the ground up. That's vital information that you need to get into this industry. You could also join the Safer Internet Project, like I mentioned at the start, and get hands-on experience pen testing real business systems with professional guidance. Unfortunately, bug bounties, CTFs, things like that, they don't actually count as experience. I have a, a whole nother video coming out about my thoughts on bug bounties, but beside that whole point, what we're trying to focus on here is that to get that entry level job in cybersecurity, you need to actually have some experience with systems, with networks, with different programming languages, with the tools that are actually used in cybersecurity. And cybersecurity as its own little industry within the IT industry has so many different little aspects that you can focus on and become a specialist in. What do you guys think of the whole entry level requirement of uh, so many years experience when trying to get into cybersecurity. I know it's a pain point for a lot of people because I hear about it every single day. If you jump on LinkedIn and you see someone ranting about 
a cybersecurity job that requires two years prior IT experience, people blow up. And I get it, it sucks. You've been studying for cybersecurity and you can't get in. That's exactly why I made the Safer Internet Project to begin with. It's to help get people into the jobs who actually have those skills. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on this topic. So chuck your thoughts in the comments below and I'll answer as many of them as I can. You can go through all of my previous videos if you want and see how many comments I reply to. I get to like 90% of them. So please do put your comments down below. If you enjoyed this content, please smash like, subscribe for more and I'll see all of you on the next video. Let's tackle these problems together. Let's work towards a solution and let's actually start winning and becoming cybersecurity professionals. I'll see you guys on the other side. Peace out.